Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a legendary Iron Man exquisite timing with some permanent target wins for good measure. My name is Saiken. We're still trying to speedrun the game on the highest difficulty and we're doing moderately well. Today is going to be Operation uh, Morbid Spear. Hopefully not a bad omen for what's about to come. We're trying to uh, get 90 intel and counter the dark event of permanent um, uh, paddings for all advent which would be hilarious if they would get it it would make them so much stronger so we definitely want to counter that and on top of that we're trying to make our way to the next big um, objective which is uh, the uh, gate now let's take a look at our team we're going in with reaper wrath divot uh, who is teamed up with uh, Rodriguez, yeah, with Hayward, very good. Divert and Hayward. Um, we got uh, da -da -da -da, that's a specialist sharpshooter Reaper. We got we don't want is that Mike over there? Sorry, Mike, but we're actually taking the high uh, level team. Good, that's Boom Boom and uh, Tracy Elliott. Uh, it looks much more like it. And as the last um, and final member, we're actually taking Mystic with us. Maybe I'm going to regret that. Not sure yet. Let me equip everyone and then we're going giving it a go. All right, that's the equipment that we do have available. I'm still trying to get a little bit more ammunition now that we do have extra slots. Um, we're going to take both of the Mimic Beacons. Uh, Boom Boom and Hayward are going to carry them. We got our spider suit equipped and I modified a rifle with a superior scope, which is just um, uh, to uh, make it easier to hit uh, people. We got uh, the uh, nice little tail and rounds equipped over here. And uh, we got our new grenades, uh, namely the incendiary grenade and the acid grenade uh, plus a flashbang. So pretty diverse. Uh, mm, uh, equipment that we're having which also speaks for the unavailability of other equipment um, I just scrapped together whatever we had it's definitely not an optimal equipment let's go good we got ourselves a field officer We're going to take our Reaper and let's just check what we're up against. I go what I'm needed. I spotted an alien patrol. Very active movement. There's a potential uh, remote start ob objective. And as far as I'm concerned, I can see a couple of do not move into here, you're going to be spotted out uh, fields. So there might be civilians or another patrol just behind um, our Templar. Could move all the way over here. Sane is taking a frontline position as well. Divot can take high ground. Gotta be careful though, a high ground here has no cover. So I much rather want us to take low ground full cover. Same here for Hayward and the Boom Boom. The simple being is going to move a bit closer to the front line. All right, probably 12 enemies here. Uh, I forgot, honestly forgot to take a look at um, the shadow chamber. Advent shield bearers are new, so they are quite a pain in the rear. So far, we don't need to I go where you tell 
even show ourselves. Let's try to find the captain first. Commander, that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent net. Absolutely, we could we could kill that one and with the school jack spawn the avatar yeah so we'll we'll need to keep that in mind all right fair enough move in a tiny bit closer And thankfully, we do have the school jig with us. Nice. Come on. Stand right next to the car. Ooh. Come on, guys. That is awesome. Love it. The game is giving us such a treat. How am I supposed to say no to that offer? This will be big. Okay. Honestly, no problem at all that the loot had been destroyed. At this point, loot is not our biggest problem. You always got to think about like what's really the priority of what you're after. Loot, yeah, in a long-term uh, campaign, certainly something to consider. But it's going to move uh, the needle in any reasonable shape or form here. Probably not. All right, we can remote start that relatively soon as well not going to lose our cover mainly because I do not like uh, to start the actual timer here instead what we're going to do is gonna move over And let's get this guy. Very nice. Done deal. We're moving further up. Divert here. Can take that position. Always gives him the option to just grab up further. Hayward moves up, and last but certainly not least, Mystic, who takes a position over here. Unfortunately, just out of range of the remote car start. Moving further up. Let's reload. Um, in terms of dealing with both of these guys, how about... Oh, that's a nice high ground over here. Like it. Thanks to the grappling hook we can get here without causing much problems. We march toward a black Good. Well, let's position ourselves in semi-decent positions. Tight formation, kind of facing in that direction. So far the Reaper is just carrying all the weight.
And what we could do is we could get two here and essentially start the school checking process. I think that's a good it's a good time to lose our concealment. There we go. Okay. And there he is. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a caution. All right, okay, so. <clears throat> Let's shift over one action via teamwork. We gotta deal with his abnormally high armor. Thanks to the acid grenade, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Well, relatively speaking, he still has two armor. Can we hit him? I successfully acid grenaded uh, myself. That was awesome. Should have maybe used the flashbang, but I didn't like his position over here either. So let's get rid of um, all the annoying bystanders. And I think we're just going to mimic Beacon the hell out of uh, him. Should have waited with the mimic Beacon. It's fine. We'll just overwatch. Alright, is he going to move a little bit further? Oh, beautiful position. Beautiful position. Alright, this time we got him right where we want to have him, which means time for a flashbang. I think it should still suppress his ability to uh, transport. I was wrong. Maybe they changed that with... Um, maybe they changed that with War of the Chosen. Uh, in vanilla it was 100% guaranteed that you can uh, that you can uh, just suppress their teleportation ability. Oh, nice. Some extra falling damage. Sixty five per cent. Oh, 
Nice little extra burn. too close. There could be a lot of enemies uh, that I could trigger from there. It's 50-50. Let's try to hit him. Boy, he is still going. Unfortunately, too far away to to really hurt him. I don't want to leave our high ground position here. That's a pretty low chance of hitting him. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to take it in the first place, but we had no other options. I could theoretically shift teamwork uh, down here. But I think I instead I'm just going to overwatch for now. He's burning, he's taking acid damage, so that's three points of damage, five points of regeneration. And I would bet you we're going to see a mind control. <laughs> or ten points of damage. Um, yeah, Sane is probably, I'll take a wild guess here, but Sane is probably not going to make the final mission. Not a hit. That's a hit, and hopefully the teleport this time will be a tiny bit better. <sighs> Not necessarily what we needed uh, now. There is a beautiful remote start here. One that I can maybe get next turn. Barely out of range, of course, how fitting, right? Can Boom Boom see him here or here? Or here for that matter, or here? Nope. Because the advanced stock would come in incredibly handy. Got a heal sane. Let's see if we can get down the avatar. Gosh, and we gotta kill three of those things in the last mission. Our only saving graces that were hopefully a tiny bit better prepared. Uh, this here is going to be yet another mimic beacon. Should have drawn that 
last round because although um, his psionic abilities are the most fearsome, uh, that was 10 points of damage and that wasn't even a crit or anything. Good. We are charging over here because next round it's time to get Okay. We have just poked the bear successfully. That was a pretty reckless move. I wanted to flank them. Of course, it was clear that there might have been the general somewhere. Unluckily for us, uh, right next to our position. Okay, so far so good. They're moving to the side. All right, okay, good. Still can't move anywhere, literally. That's not a bad hit to uh, injure. Yep, that's not a bad hit at all. So how do we want to deal with uh, the Chosen over there? The Avatar, rather. I think what we're going to do is, I'd like to move over and see if we can almost kill him. So, if we were to move to here, that would be in range, and we could kill the avatar. Which is the highest priority. Yep, that's a kill. Alright, so that's good. That's pretty, uh, pretty decent. Let's try to get him down. We're going to reload to effectively use all of our actions. Remote start. Almost got him down. That's great. We got death from above. Well, that means... If we play our cards right, this here could be a kill, followed up by a pistol shot. If we injure this guy just a tiny bit, we're even better off. Could go for parry attack here. Alright, so that's a no regret move. Let's try to kill him. Didn't work, it's still fine. He's down to two hit points. We're team working. And the pistol shot will finally take him down. Going for the Advent General. 
Once again, almost down. And since we're in the open with our Templar, that means we can parry. So if we're going to take a shot, that will go against the Templar. I think Shadowbound is not parryable. No, it's not. But re um, Revival Protocol will help us to essentially um, get the Templar back right away. Ah, that's a bit ouch. Mind spin. Figured. Yeah, we gotta deal with the sectoid. Not acceptable to be mind controlled. Starting with revival protocol. Good, we're continuing with just removing all of the cover, plus dealing a lot of damage. Moving over here, we're going to break the mind control. That's a starter. There we go, that's the kill. There's the parry. This here should be line of sight. Moving over, hopefully we can see the spectre. Very nice. That's what I was hoping for. Nice little crit there. Not sure if it can burn. But it can certainly die. And with it dying, the Shadowbound creature disappears. And last but certainly not least, we're going to mutilate the uh, sector. Mind spin? No. Try to do a shot. That's okay. Let's see if we can get an extra kill. Not the cleanest of all missions. Um, like a noob, I pulled um, two packs, and the fight against the Avatar was more cumbersome than I um, was expecting it to be. And there we go, and we're probably going to have a pretty long-lasting injury on Sane. Yeah, 27 days, that's really unfortunate. Boom Boom uh, gets Heavy Ordnance, uh, super good, an extra grenade. And Sane got himself finally run and gun. Unfortunately for us, Mystic got not promoted. Diva uh, did not get promoted. And Wrath did not get promoted as well. Despite him again being the VIP. Or, or MVP in this case, sorry. So, lots and lots of new autopsies. 
uh, we should be able to never yeah, we should not yet be able to do it but there we go see all other shadow product uh, projects must be completed and it's 17 days and therein lies the problem we do have two more shadow uh, chamber projects and then it is 17 days on top of it so i think it's fair to say we're going to be just late to the party. Your forces have stood against every threat presented by the enemy thus far, Commander. Still, we must remain focused until Earth is free from Advent's grasp. Good, making contact six to eight days. Again, eight days. The game at this point kind of tells us F off. Got a nice promotion here for our specialist, which is great. The biggest problem that I'm seeing is 14 days is probably too long. But at the same time, it is the single best mission that we could take. I mean, we could uh, we could do it, but that would mean that a lot of the uh, really nice uh, soldiers or high-ranking soldiers would not be on our mission on our next mission, 11 days, uh, we might want to squeeze another mission in instead of up upgrading our relationship there. He now has field medic, which is huge. I shouldn't tunnel vision too much on the um, on the promotions. Health plus one isn't bad either. You know, for now, maybe Hayward can get health plus one. Putting it together with the temple uh, there. Uh, we're not going to spend intel. Ambush could happen, but that's fine. Understood, yeah, we weren't really not that lucky with the covert ops missions. That's a nice one. Mind shields. Did we get a breakthrough? Yeah, the improved uh, sniper rifles would be nice, but 10 days just for one tiny bit of extra damage. Uh, not what we were looking for. Let's get the mutons so that we at least have plasma grenades. Central officer. Will probably not help us a lot because soon we need to change our research again. There is another piece of tail and rounds, so that's okay. Besides, do we have another core? No, we don't. So this guy here is currently not doing us any good. Might as well, although I know that it's not going to matter, start clearing the debris there. Ah, depressing to see that I'm probably not going to make it. And there's another supply raid. Robotic enemies, which is interesting. Maybe I should have uh, researched the mech uh, just for blue screen rounds. Arguably another path to take. That way Spectre's uh, mechs and codices wouldn't have been a big problem. 
We're still going to take uh, that mission, so that's 11 um, enemies there, but that's going to happen in the next run, guys. Let's see how far I can take it. We're definitely going to play until July 15th, which is kind of the cutoff day. Um, I hope that I can still do the um, the gateway and the stasis suit and uh, then see how far we can take it before essentially running out of time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what we're doing, then just uh, leave a comment uh, in the section down below and uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.